So we're at our uh, first bear snare. So we got a 20 liter uh, ice cream pail. Um, and it's just wired to that little uh, spruce tree. And then uh, in the bottom, I uh, got popcorn and molasses. And on the trigger, I got marshmallows. Um, so the trigger goes inside the pail. And then that top bar is uh, pinching the pail between that bar that's bent to the to the left there or to, to the right sorry and the spring which keeps everything kind of solid um, so yeah you got your trigger down in the bottom when he goes to pull on that uh, there's the triggering mechanism there uh, same kind of deal as like a as um, on like a 330 if you were to put like a bait stick for a beaver you can buy those um, special um, triggers anyway same kind of deal there uh, the back spring flings the um, snare uh, kind of upwards to 12 o'clock tightening the snare around of his arm and then I just got it all chained up around the tree and you can see the spring that's the spring there that throws the snare and there's a safety right to the left of the lock there just like on your conner bears but yeah so that's that's trap number one <coughs> And this is a nuisance job. Um, the bear has been coming out and tearing up the silage, silage bales that are wrapped here. Uh, all the red tape is from him. Just went along and I don't know, there's probably two or three dozen bales that would have been affected by it but anyway and then up here in the corner uh, there's a bit of a grove of poplars right there and then there's apple trees all along the right hand side over to the right This is this is snare number two. So again, just a 20 liter pail, and uh, snares are on the top. And you can see to keep the snare in place, I just put a hole in the pail, and it's not the snare's not wired solid. The wire's just holding it in place. Um, but yeah, so you put your, on this I had to put the lock, I just used locks because I didn't have big enough, um, quick connects, uh, but you're supposed to just put the eye of the swivel, um, actually around that, this here, um, but because it's on an angle downwards, I just put it on the uh, end of the spring. So yeah, so that's how those work. Um, this one again is chained off to this tree. But uh, they're, they're very, well I found them hard to figure out. Um, when, I, when I got them out of the package, it took me like an hour to try and figure out how they worked. But. So there's the spring, there's the safety I was talking about. So once once you latch the trigger and set it, then you just take your safety off. Um, but yeah, you just squeeze that spring like you would a, a conibear. 
and then you can see um, right there that swivels on that shaft and so that comes down and that's the trigger in the pail and it's got marshmallows on it <clears throat> and I put some um, corn syrup up in the branches too just to sort of get the smell around anyway um, so that's that's what that is yeah you can see all of the holes he put in so I got a total of two snares um, set out here and uh, hopefully we get them I just wanted to show you guys at the end here uh, he came back after they patched the holes he came back and did a little more damage you can see hole there and then he just started tearing out the, the silage there but you can see claw marks there claw marks there claw marks there up on top so I mean I don't know if that's a a big bear I don't know that much about bears this is actually my first time trapping them but you can see I don't know that might be I don't know how wide that would be but anyway so if he's still around hopefully I get him otherwise hopefully he's moved on um, but anyway so yeah so in, in comparison to where he has been coming and doing the damage um, it's maybe 30 yards to that tree which is where my first snare is and then maybe 50 yards up to where that other snare is up in there anyway hopefully you guys enjoy and uh, hopefully I get them and I'll definitely be videoing that